What's up guys, Jason here, Digital Marketing Consultant, and today I'm gonna to walk you through the simple process of adding the Google Remarketing tag to your Shopify e-commerce store. Now this is critically important because it takes an average of seven times of a potential customer seeing an ad before actually remembering your site and remembering your products. And so this is gonna work even if you're not using Google Ads or AdWords when you're initially driving traffic, you can remarket to people, anyone who's visited your website. So this is great to set up if you're using Facebook ads or Instagram ads, and then you can follow up with display remarketing ads or even YouTube ads to retarget and remarket to your website e-commerce visitors and bring them back to your Shopify store. So with that, let's go ahead, dive into my screen, and I'm going to walk you through the basic process of adding the Google remarketing tag to your Shopify e-commerce store. So we're actually gonna kick things off with Google Analytics because if you're using the basic version of Shopify, they don't actually allow you to add the remarketing tag. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use Google Analytics and then link it to our AdWords account, or you don't have to link it to your AdWords account if you don't have one yet, but as long as you have analytics, you can start building that remarketing list, which is something that I found a lot of people don't know that you can actually do. So I'm just going to assume that you've set up an analytics account. If you haven't, it takes about three minutes. I'll link in the description to a video that walks you through that process. So I'm here at the admin settings of my analytics, and I'm just going to click on property settings to get my tracking ID. And this is actually all you need. So once I've copied that tracking ID, I'm I'm gonna to go to my Shopify dashboard. I'm gonna to go to the online store setting here on the left, and then I'm going to go to preferences. And here there is a box where you can add your analytics code. Now, even though it asks for all of the code, you actually just need the tracking ID. So I'm just gonna pop that in there, click save. And now analytics is on the site. So I know this is a tutorial about AdWords remarketing. I promise we're gonna get there. I'm gonna show you how to link this up so it works even if you're using the basic version. Now, if you're using the, so here now what we wanna do is make sure that the tag is showing up and firing correctly. And we'll do this by using the Google Tag Manager Manager helper. So you want to go to your live published site and I'll leave a link in the description to this. It's a Chrome plugin and essentially what it does is it checks to make sure your Google tags have been installed correctly. So in this particular instance, it's installed correctly. You'll see here that it's red. If it's red, normally that means something is wrong. Personally, because I'm a digital marketer and I do a lot of these types of things for my clients, my Chrome is actually opted out to analytics so I don't screw up my client stuff. So that's the only reason it's showing up red, but it will show up green for you if it's been firing and installed correctly. So now what we wanna do is we have analytics, we want analytics to start talking to AdWords so we can build that remarketing list. And to do that, we're gonna go back to analytics. So inside of analytics here, you're gonna see on the left-hand side, I'm still in settings, there's a little tab called AdWords linking. So I'll show you how to do this in analytics and I'll show you where to do this from the AdWords side as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on AdWords linking. And if you've never linked account, an account before, there's not gonna be one here. You can see I've already linked one one, but all you have to do is click on link group and then select the AdWords account that you want to link. Now what's really cool is you can link multiple AdWords accounts. It is important that you're using the same Google account for your AdWords account and your Google Analytics. If you're not, then you want to add your AdWords Google account as a user to your Google Analytics account. I know that's really confusing, but let's say for example, if you have one account, Google account for Analytics and you have another Google account for AdWords, you need to add them those two different accounts as users in both places so that they can talk to each other. For most of you, that's not gonna matter because you're gonna be using one account for everything, which is what I recommend. So you can go ahead here and select the option of the AdWords account you want to link, and then you'd go ahead and click continue, and you'd get a little notification saying you are good to go. So now let's go ahead and do this from the AdWords side. In the new AdWords alpha interface, you're gonna come up here to the menu, and you're gonna click on linked accounts, which is what I'm looking at here. And then you can go ahead and click on details. So on this page, as you can see, this one account is linked. You'll see all of your other analytics accounts listed here as well, as long as you're using the same Google account, like I talked about earlier. And all you have to do is click link and you will connect the two from here. So you can either do it in AdWords, like I'm showing you here, if you're in the old interface, this is what it's going to look like. You'd come up to settings, you'd click linked accounts, 
this is the page you would see and you'd click on view details and then here you would be able to set up a link as well. So just in case if you're not using AdWords Alpha, but it's pretty much the same in both instances. So you can either do it in analytics as I showed you right here, you could do it in AdWords Alpha right here, or you could do it in the old AdWords right here. And now that we have that set up, we're ready to actually create our remarketing audience. So remember, because the basic version of Shopify doesn't allow us to directly add the Google remarketing tag, we're using analytics and then linking it to our AdWords account. So I'm gonna come down here to audience definitions, audiences, and this is where we're gonna be able to actually start building a remarketing list inside of AdWords. Now, if you don't already have an AdWords account set up, you don't have to go through these extra steps. When you're ready to use AdWords in the future to do Gmail ads or YouTube ads or display remarketing ads, you can always do this in the future. As long as analytics is on your site, it's collecting the data and you're good to go. So first you wanna make sure that the analytics code is firing correctly, and then we're going to go ahead and enable remarketing by clicking next step. Once you've clicked that in screen, it's it's time to choose a destination and this is where the link that we just set up comes in because we'll click the drop down menu and we'll select the AdWords account that we want this remarketing list to go to. We're going to click OK and then we're going to go ahead and click enable. So now we have an AdWords remarketing list that's collecting in AdWords and analytics even though we only have analytics set up on our Shopify store. So I know that seems like a little convoluted of a solution, but it's a really great way to make sure that you're collecting all of the data that you need and you're able to do AdWords remarketing via display ads and YouTube ads and Gmail ads, even though the basic version of Shopify doesn't let you add the remarketing tag directly onto your Shopify store. And so with that, you are all set up. You have Google Analytics set up. You've linked it to your AdWords account and you've set up a remarketing list inside your AdWords account so you can retarget people via YouTube display and Gmail ads to increase the sales on your Shopify e-commerce store. And with that, you are good to go. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and actionable. If you got some value out of it, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe because over on my channel, I'm documenting the entire process of putting together advertising for a e-commerce or Shopify store. So if you're in the process of building your store or you're already driving traffic and you're looking for ways to increase your return on ad spend, this is definitely the place for you. I encourage you to subscribe and check out that playlist in the description. And of course, until the next video, Keep building the business you love. Take care.